Welcome to Visuality Systems, the SMB protocol experts. In today's tutorial, we'll be discussing key SMB protocol security measures that will help you safeguard your data and your network. As part of Microsoft's Secure Future initiative, launched in 2023 to address the growing scale and complexity of cyber attacks, Windows 11 version 24H2 and Windows Server 2025 now include important SMB features that make your data, your users, and your organization safer. Most of these features are enabled by default, ensuring that your network is secure from the start. The security measures introduced by Microsoft, all supported by Visuality Systems SMB protocol software libraries, include SMB signing required by default, SMB and TLM blocking, Insecure guest authentication is now off by default in Windows Pro editions. SMB dialect management. SMB client encryption mandate. Deprecation and disabling of remote mail slots. SMB over quick is now supported not only in the Azure edition as it was in Windows Server 2022, but also in the data center and standard edition starting from Windows Server 2025. SMB over quick client access control. Support for SMB on alternative ports. In this video, we'll dive into NTLM blocking. This feature reduces exposure to attacks by limiting the use of outdated NTLM authentication and instead relying on the more secure Kerberos protocol. NTLM blocking aims to enhance security by reducing the dependency on NTLM, an authentication protocol that uses outdated algorithms like HMAC MD5 and MD4 that are vulnerable to unwanted attacks. SMB clients now block NTLM for outbound connections preventing NTLM requests from being diverted to potentially malicious servers. This shift aligns with the NTLM disable policy introduced in Active Directory since Windows Server 2008. In domain environments, Kerberos authentication takes over, ensuring stronger protection. Once NTLM is blocked, the most secure and efficient alternative is Kerberos. Unlike NTLM, which relies on challenge response mechanisms, Kerberos provides mutual authentication ensuring that both the client and the server trust each other before any data exchange. Kerberos operates with a ticket-based system, where encrypted tickets are issued to users or services. This eliminates the need to repeatedly transmit passwords across the network, significantly reducing the risk of credential theft. Additionally, Kerberos tickets are time-limited, meaning attackers have a smaller window of opportunity to exploit a session. With strong encryption algorithms like AES, Kerberos offers superior protection compared to NTLM. It's also tightly integrated with Active Directory, making it the authentication protocol of choice for Windows domains. By switching to Kerberos, you ensure a more secure and streamlined authentication process. Before NTLM blocking, Windows used the SPNAGO protocol to negotiate between different authentication mechanisms, including Kerberos and NTLM, depending on the server and client setup. In some cases, this negotiation could result in a downgrade from Kerberos to NTLM, which weakened the overall security. However, for Active Directory domain joint computers, Kerberos was still the default method for authentication and connectivity, while an option to disable NTLM was added with Windows Server 2008. With NTLM blocking, organizations are now required to shift their authentication to the more secure Kerberos protocol, which uses a ticket system and stronger cryptography to verify identities, even on the client side. However, administrators can still allow exceptions for specific servers that don't support Kerberos. It's important to note that NTLM blocking doesn't impact local NTLM usage, like mapping a drive locally with a local account. Blocking NTLM will prevent connections, not only inbound but now also outbound, in several cases. If the client uses an IP address, if the Kerberos SIF service principal name is missing in Active Directory for the SMB server, or if local user account credentials are used for the SMB server. In cases where NTLM blocking triggers an error, troubleshooting steps can help identify the source of the issue. You might temporarily disable NTLM blocking to check for other network issues, like DNS name resolution. If you've connected using an IP address, try switching to a fully qualified domain name. You can verify that the SMB server has the necessary host service principal name registered using the set SBN command. If still unable to connect, use a network capture tool, like Wireshark for example, to examine the client and server messages for DNS, SMB2, and Kerberos. To enable NTLM blocking across your SMB client configurations, you can use this PowerShell command. Simply run, 
set SMB client configuration block NTLM true, which enforces NTLM blocking for outbound connections from the client. Once confirmed, NTLM will be disabled, paving the way to stronger authentication methods. Another option for blocking NTLM authentication on a per-connection basis is to use the new SMB mapping command. This command applies NTLM blocking when creating a new SMB mapping to a specific server share, adding flexibility for enforcing NTLM restrictions based on individual connections. To conclude, let's compare NTLM and Kerberos. NTLM relies on challenge response authentication, while Kerberos uses a ticket-based system. NTLM's encryption is outdated, using MD4 or MD5, whereas Kerberos employs AES, a stronger modern encryption standard. NTLM only authenticates the client, leaving it more vulnerable to certain attacks, while Kerberos provides mutual authentication, protecting both client and server. While NTLM can still serve legacy systems as a fallback, Kerberos is the preferred default for Active Directory environments and modern deployments, offering single sign-on and a higher security profile. This is why Microsoft's security initiatives include disabling NTLM in favor of like Kerberos, especially in Active Directory and SMB protocol environments. Thank you for watching. Want to know more? Explore the other videos in this tutorial series, visit our website, or reach out for more insights. Visuality Systems the SMB Protocol Experts